I am back here at Disneyland on a weekday. It is Wednesday, you will probably see this on a Friday, but it is a gloomy day as you can see overcast skies here at Disneyland. I just want to give, bring you another construction update of what's going on. Pretty much looks the same at the uh, Main Street area here. You still got the trolley for pictures. You still got the walls up in the same exact place as the previous week. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get down here next week to shoot an update, so this will have to last you for a couple of weeks anyway. But you can see still walled off Main Street. At least Town Square is open. We got Goofy out here having a good time. But I plan on bringing you some views of the walls of Main Street. We're gonna check out an update of It's a Small World. We're gonna go over by Dumbo. I hear Casey Jr.'s train is open for business, so we are gonna take a little stroll down there and get on that ride, hopefully, and see if we can see anything with the Dumbo construction. But for now, let's just take a little stroll down Main Street. Look, it's Boomer's favorite place. It looks like I might have to stop in for some coffee and a protein box. Well, since nothing has changed on Main Street, we are gonna just head on over, still beautiful brickwork. We are gonna head on over to Dumbo's and uh, see if we can get on Casey Jr. before it gets too crowded and see if we can get some pictures of behind the walls of Dumbo. Who knows, who knows what we'll see. I'm flying solo again here today. The wifey's at work, she says she wants to come after work, so I'll probably go home after this, edit a video, come back, go shopping with her. She wants to make a video on some food and wine merch. So we'll be back, spend our day here. Pretty much I'm gonna spend my whole day here at Disneyland, win a couple of trips. So let's head over, oh, there she is. I just love the castle. I think I probably say that every time I walk into the castle or by the castle, but it's the original. It's just, it's one man's dream. So we have some new construction in Fantasyland. Since last week's update, we have Pinocchio's Daring Journey right outside of it. It looks like Pinocchio's is still open, but right outside of it, it is walled off. So it looks like that is the outside exit area. There's sometimes a uh, meet and greet with uh, Belle and the Beast, but it is completely walled off. Now you can see Dumbo is still walled off. That's the same. But look right here. It's crazy. Like there's, <laughs> there's just a little walkway. Can you imagine this on a crowded day? I do like the Dumbo posters though. Huh? But I don't know if they're gonna. Maybe they're gonna extend seating for. Um, Oh gosh, God, I tell you guys, I'm so horrible with names. To the Red Rose Tavern, maybe they'll extend, or maybe they're gonna do something else over there, which, it's weird, look at the exit comes out here for Pinocchio's, but they're definitely doing something. Either they're gonna widen the walkway, or maybe they'll add some sort of element. Who knows? But it's time for me to get on Casey Jr's. See, I've made it on Casey Jr's. Can't really see too much from this angle. Um, it's not all going on, but I get a better shot coming up here pretty soon. So you can see from this angle, you can see into Dumbo, and the ride is still completely gone. I'm going to pause it here so you guys can just kind of take a long look and just kind of see. You can see the circle right in the middle of your screen there. Um, they're still doing a lot of work there. I can't really tell where the queue is going to be or where the new queue is going to be um, cannot seem to get a shot in there to figure that one out but uh, hopefully we'll be able to see some awnings or something coming up in the future when they do start to build the new queue so i'm not sure what we got off of casey's jr i was busy just pointing the camera at the dump camera at the dumbo ride but now we're headed over to it's a small world to see what's going on over there to see what is happening and the progress probably hop on the train maybe do the same thing that we did last week we'll hop on the train after we check out a small world see what we can see from the train then hop on the monorail and see what we can see from the monorail then head over to splash mountain and see the progress over there and maybe eh, that'll probably be it so we head over to the promenade here it looks like the walls are in the same spot but oh, wait 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 a second what's going on here i see peter pan and hook uh oh hook doesn't know that peter pan's behind him this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. 
He's just making fun of them. Look at that. It's always a nice surprise when you come over to It's a Small World and all the characters are coming out because it's 15 after. Every 15 minutes it does this, just so you guys know. This is the 15 minute mark. Or the half hour mark. Or the 45 minute mark. It's every 15 minutes. So as you can see, you still have the complete walls are up. There's Small World is empty. I'd ride it, but we just rode it the other week and gave you a video. So I'm going to continue on with my adventure for the construction see what we can see outside or beyond the walls. Well, I'm going to do my best to keep my hands, arms, feet, arms, hands, legs, whatever else they say inside the train. But we are here to look at some construction on It's a Small World. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit over there. I don't know if we can see anything. The walls are pretty high. I've got this train car all to myself. And I don't see really, I'm looking for the where we go behind scenes. We'll see what else we can find and see. But there's definitely there's a crane over there working right there. See that. And bushes. And more bushes. Ooh, there's something going on back in there. I can't see anything. They're tearing that whole place up. Look at that. Let's see if we can see We're anything coming around the corner. The future, Should we come around the corner? Oh, oh, look at that. Nothing. Here you'll you got a whole bunch of nothing. And I mean, there's a lot of work going on, but I can't see anything. So I think the only place that I'm really going to get a good angle of this It's a Small World backstage is going to be from the monorail. So let's head on over there and jump on that bad boy. So we are on the monorail now, coming around the backstage. We're going to slow this video up for you here. Look, at they've completely paved the street there. They've got everything done. they got some uh, plumbing to do on the bottom there for the planters. And then if you look here, you can see kind of one of the fence posts there. It goes behind the tree where there are the new paths. Right there, those two fence posts, that's where the parade is going to be headed down that. And then the part where all those big white bags are, you'll see the trees coming up there. That's going to be, I think, extended queuing for It's a Small World. You'll see the barrier of trees right there. You see the, the uh, asphalt at the bottom. That's the parade route. You have the trees as a barrier. You're going to have queuing for It's a Small World right there on the other side. It's very interesting that, that they're not going to have to use the Small World Promenade anymore for overflow queuing. And that's going to create a lot um, less headache for a lot of people because people wanted to get through there. And it kind of blocked that whole roadway there. But let's see if we can get another angle here after these trees and see what we can see. They also might, might put stroller parking over in that area too. And then there you can see the final part of the parade route there before it comes out into it's a small world. One of world. Disney's most beloved attractions. It's a small world. And now we're riding alongside the happiest kingdom of them all. From the monorail, I have jumped over here to Splash Mountain. And as you can see, they have put a new flume back in. They completely tore it out the other uh, few months here. And they completely have put a new one in. Maybe it was just time, it was wearing down. No water yet, but the flume is there. And it looks like it's the same size flume, despite rumors that they're gonna put a double seater, but it's gonna be single row still, for sure. They still need to cover up those gaping holes at the top there, which I'm sure they'll do nicely, and they'll blend it in and make it look weather-worn and everything, so you can't even tell the difference. Okay, it looks like we got some uh, painting going on. We got this air hose, which is down there, with this guy is painting the walls here at Disneyland. So they are touching up every aspect of Splash Mountain, guys. They're like, well, it looks like there's water in there, or like there's residue of water, but remember, it did rain this last week at SoCal, so they have not been running water in this little uh, canal for a long time, but I'm sure it does get flooded when the rain comes through just a little bit. Ooh, there's another part of the hose there. It looks like somebody's probably painting on that side, but I can't get them. So that is it for my Splash Mountain uh, update really not much to update except for they put that new flume in over there uh, you can hear a lot of work can you hear that in the background you can hear a lot of work going on back there but uh and i wonder what the inside i hope they add lighting to the inside that's that's been a bummer lately it's been so dark in there so so that's it for me inside disneyland i'm gonna head over to the parking structure maybe show you a little bit of construction that's happening over there but as far as all the other construction at disneyland they're doing a lot of touch-up work a lot of different things happening here in disneyland i'm about to hop on a train hopefully i can make it over there in time it's just arriving. I think I can do it. But I'm going to hop on that train and get on out of here. We have jumped onto the tram, and as you can see, we are on the wrong side of the road. 
Disneyland has changed the path of the tram because of the construction happening over by Mickey and Friends parking structure on the new parking structure. So we're going to head on over there. I'm going to fast forward it to there and then we'll see what kind of construction they got going on over there. <laughs> So you can see there's a tram coming down the wrong side of the road again, but look at where that tram's coming from. That tram is coming from underneath the parking structure. That's where the security checkpoint is. That's where they're doing all the bag checks and everything and the loading of the trams. And then you're going to unload this direction, which is kind of odd, but we're going to get off here. We're going to head upstairs and I'm going to show you some of the construction that they're doing for the new parking structure just next to Mickey and Friends parking structure. We have made it to the parking structure, and as you can see, the tram route is completely changed. So you can see these people walking underneath. You used to walk underneath to get over to there to go to Disneyland, but now they're loading the trams underneath the parking structure, which is crazy. If you actually want to get walk to downtown Disney, you have to actually go all the way to that corner where that tram is at right there. They'll let you cross the street um, well, the tram route, you walk down the old tram route, all the way down, out to the street, come back around, and then go to downtown Disney. So, completely changed. So, you can see over here, this is where the old security used to be right here. And that's where the trams are usually parked in when they're not being used. Still hasn't been torn up yet, but I'm going to head on over so you can guys see, you guys can see the old Pinocchio parking lot. So as you can see the uh, old Pinocchio parking lot where you'd park the oversized vehicles and there's some extra handicap parking and stuff right there. Completely torn up all the way to the wall. Like a week ago it was like halfway torn up. Now it's completely torn up. This is where the new parking structure is going to be. I think the parking structure's name is Cleo. Um, I mean you can see here's the regular parking structure, Mickey and Friends. And then here's the lot. It's like right next to it. So it's going to be another probably six story, seven story parking structure. It's going to have about 6,000 spaces for parking, which is much needed here at Disneyland. But you can see it's completely empty. I'm assuming this will be where cars will be driving to get into the parking lot. Um, parking structure, who knows. But you can see the uh, boarding area over there is very small now. I wish I could show you the loading area underneath, but they don't allow filming because of security checkpoint and stuff. So that's it for me, you guys. That is the construction update for this week. I'm gonna be back here tonight with Boomer, and then we'll be back on the 16th also. So hopefully you enjoyed this construction video. I won't be back to do another construction video update for a little while, so this should hold you over for a little bit. But if you like this video and you like these types of videos, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think of all the construction going on here at Disneyland. And, uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with all your friends. You know the little share button? Just share it. And then we'll catch you next time.